Uh, this is uh, Knowledge, which is Deluxe, a game where I play this little frog thing and I have to eat the correct answers. Um, I set it to Ultimate Challenge, Ultimate Level. Um, yeah, that's an Ultimate Challenge and also completely randomized, so I don't know what it's going to ask me. Hello, I'm Owl E. Gory. And I'm Ellie Sant. Welcome to Trivia Munchers Deluxe. Find the countries whose chief religion is Islam. So I have to eat the right answers, basically. And, you know, you might think this is actually quite hard for a kid's game. Is really a Muslim country? Qatar is. Oh, Bahrain, obviously. That. I think the only other one that I could go for here is really. Uh, wait, is eleven an Islamic country? Oh, Saudi Arabia is right there. I'm a very silly boy. I wish it told me how many correct answers remain. Hey, hey. I'm gonna go Bruno. And there's another. I have to eat the countries whose chief religion is Islam. I can let one out of these. I just can't see it being any of the others. Oh, wait, you changed it to Trinidad. The slug changed the answer. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey there! Dinosaurs. Find the dinosaurs. Protoceratops. Tyrannosaurus. Diplodocus. Ankylosaurus. Not Nasturtium, that's a flower. You silly little frog. Mastodon's not a dinosaur. I, I guess Ultrasaurus because what else could Ultrasaurus be? Monoclonius. Damn, this is hard. Monoclonius. Can you find the famous playwrights? Oh gosh, these are going to be American playwrights as well, and I'm going to have no idea. I genuinely have no idea. I'm just going to guess. Oh, Barry Goldwater, you taste disgusting. Let me, let me prepare my coffee. Maybe I'll dial down the challenges a bit, or maybe I'll make them a bit more fair by excluding all the, like, uh, American pop culture kind of ones. I'll let you listen to this epic track first.
just ain't what they used to be. They got me singing trivia bunch of green. He's got the green. I got the trivia bunch of green. He's back. Oh, good lord, I made that strong. <laughs> Look, there's the brothers side by side. My little face in between them. No. Don't tweet that. <laughs> right. Let's give this, uh, this whole munching business a proper go. So I wonder if I can take off the famous people. Let's try this now. Hello, I'm Owl E. Gory. And I'm Four legged Fett. animals. Welcome to Trivia Muncher's Deluxe. Tazzy Doe. Hey, Elephant. find the four Beaded lizard. animals. Beaded lizard. Oh. I've got to watch the controls on this. They're a little bit slippery. Horse, muskrat, chinchilla, oryx. Maybe a Nyala? I don't know what that is. Oops, Slimy ate your muncher. Oh, elk, obviously. I didn't spot that. Say, can you find the islands? You bet I can. Honshu. Comoros. Sicily, Mauritius. Still Sicily. Shikoku. Oh, Iwo Jima is definitely an island. This looks just changed it to that. Maybe Kahulawe? Am I being ridiculous? Is Casablanca an island? It's a sketch where it's not an island. Barbados is though. Try Kahulawe. Say, can you find the kitchen utensils? <laughs> Pitchfork, griddle, a spoon, a peeler, a sieve, a pitcher, a can opener, a tablespoon, a juicer. You get like a crew it set, don't you? So I want to crew it as well. Crew it. A sifter. Oh, you get these interludes as well, by the way. Massachusetts in 1821, Clara Barton devoted her life to giving medical aid to people all over the world. She single-handedly founded the American Red Cross in 1881 and was its first president. One of America's greatest heroines, the results of her efforts are still visible today. Yeah, learning about some uh, US famous figures. Say, can you nab the constellations? Ooh, this is going to be hard. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my socks. <laughs> I 
Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Big Dipper, Little Dipper must be. Hydra is, I think that is a constellation. Orion is. Scorpio is. I guess I'll try Hydra. Nice. Munch the clothing. Moccasin. Coveralls. Toga. Stockings. What's a shawl? Pajamas, shoes, vest, stockings. A fez, of course. I'd love to be wearing a fez right now. Oh, it's giving me people again. Two rank pote. Ginger Rogers was a dancer. I don't recognise any of the other names though. Emily Dickinson? Okay, I'm kind of lucky with my guesses. It was the authors that did me in. Maybe I should just try, like, biology. Or odds and ends. Mm, food and health. I'll go for animals. I'll be good at this. Hello! I'm Owl E. Gory. And I Zoology represent. Welcome to Trivia Muncher's Deluxe. Find the invertebrates. Slug and gnat. Spider. A weasel. A flea. A fly. A moth. A horseshoe crab. A sea urchin. Nice. Can you find the fish? Stingray, perch, sea lichen. I think a green is a fish. Even though it rhymes with bunny. Shark, sea lichen. A ray. Cuttlefish isn't a fish. Jellyfish isn't a fish, but an eel is a fish. How confusing is that? I'm hoping to go quite far on this run. Find the invertebrates. I don't know what Shepherdine is. Starfish, spider, mantis, nautilus. Jellyfish, octopus, lampshell, snails, butterflies. The chambered nautilus is still an invertebrate. In the early days of the American Revolution, George Washington came to Betsy Ross and commissioned her to create the first American flag. Washington and the committee he represented were looking for something that would represent the unity of the first 13 colonies. A flag that would show the resolve and independence of the United States against the tyranny of Britain and George III. The tyranny of Britain now, there is. A symbol to exemplify the power of the revolution. And the stars and stripes that represented the first 13 United States became the pattern for the flag we fly today. It's a very Americanized game, unfortunately. What's sold over here, though? Looks like you need to find the primates. Primates. A chimpanzee. A human. A bush baby. An orangutan. Lima, capuchin, lima. Oh, mind the toast. 
wish the toast would move. Mollusk? Hmm. I love looking up at the chat, it's so fish? Snail, Brexit, slug again. Bass. Lamprey. Shark. Shark. Stingray. Lamprey again. Trout. Herring. I think it's a rodent. During the Paleolithic period, no one knew how to read or write. Consequently, no one was able to record history. But based on fossil records, scientists believe that the world was populated with animals much like today's, but some gigantic proportions. Here we see the evil Oh, my back hurts. The animations are pretty smooth. Can you find the reptiles? Ends lizard. To a tar. Gecko. 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 Anol. To a tar. Rattlesnake. Bearded lizard. I guess a water moccasin, because I don't think the others are reptiles. Oh no, of course, yeah, no, do please continue joining. Gecko. I'm gonna open up your water moccasin. What else is that? Gotcha. Oh, a bow and an anaconda. Can you find the crustaceans? Sure can. You just earned an extra muncher. Is a barnacle a crustacean? Yes. Yes, it is. Prawns, lobsters, lobsters, prawns. Getting kind of hungry now, actually. Might have a, a food break after this. And then uh, I'll start Zoom Beanies. Looks like you need to find the primates. Baboon, macaque, orangutan, and Indri, I think, is a primate. Give him. Pitch, pitch, flounder, grunion, eels, mackerel, sole, lamprey. Throwing a lot of uh, enemies at me right now. I'm not appreciating it. Looks like you need to find the primates. 
I've already found a lot of primates. Gorilla. Cheetah. Oh, why did I why did I eat cheetah? I'm so tired. No, I think it's biological fish, yeah. I just said a cheetah was a primate, so you know. Kinkaju. No, I thought a kinkaju was. Cheddar. Find the mollusks. Conch. Cuttlefish, oyster, krill. No, not krill. Mussels. Damn, this gets to you after a while. Slug, slug, slug. Nothing like finishing on three slugs. Thomas Edison was one of the busiest. It's better than two buttons with an industry. instrumental. He had more than one thousand patents for inventions in his name, starting oh. from the time he was sixteen. He never seemed to run out of bright ideas. So we just cut that out. <laughs> One of his most famous inventions was the phonograph, an early version of the modern turntable or a record. Hey, over three quarters of the way though. Slug slug. If someone else hadn't already invented earplugs, I'm sure he would have gotten around to those too. Can you find the fish? Bass bass brilliant. I'm gonna pause a sec. Thinking. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck on until I tuna mackerel. I'll chuck on until I. Uh... Yeah, we're getting all the same questions, aren't we? Yeah. Let's let ourselves die. Oops. Doggle ate your muncher. Fishing primates. That's kind of why I like the uh, the challenge all mixed up. But the problem is, it, it it might throw one at the you that's just impossible. Let's give this one more go. And then I might disconnect, have a refreshment break, eat some food. Hello! Apes. I'm Al E. Gory. Oh, mm. And I'm Ellie Fant. Welcome oh, to cool. Trivia Munchers oh, Deluxe. Oh, Say, can you Square, munch the shapes? Diamond, oblong, oh, mm. Oh, mm. oval, oh, mm. triangle. Oh, mm. I know my shapes. Hey, eat the colors. Yeah, I know, right? Silver, purple, beige, black, teal, fuchsia, sepia, fuchsia, purple, silver, Looks like oh, we're back on primates, I'm afraid. I won't pick Cheetah this time. <laughs> oh. Do you think you can find the major lakes? This is gonna be hard. Lake Michigan? Caspian Sea, is that actually a lake? It is. We're not eating by some toast. Lake Superior. Lake Victoria. 
Oh, come oh, on. Oh, no! A crumbly sister ate your muncher. <laughs> Okay, we'll go up some mountains. Hudson Bay can't be a lake, can it? Great slave I've never heard of. Similarly, Canadian Shield I've not heard of, which makes me think it is one. The Aral Sea is a lake. Oops. Like Wichita? No. Yeah, I was thinking that. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, okay, coming up to half six is a good time for me to disconnect, let my coffee settle, just have a bit of a screen break, um, have a bit of food, and I'll come back with uh, a Zoom, a Zoom beanie-based adventure. How about that? Um, I will be back on maybe like ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Maybe I'll have like a, a longer break because I kind of need it. Uh, so yeah, back uh -huh. in a farewell.